it is ridiculously early in the morning. Not as early as we were originally planning to go. Kind of snoozed a little bit. About 3.45 in the morning. About to head to the convention center out there. Getting our bag packed. Morning. Good morning. We, we're not bringing our camp chairs. No. Nope. Seems like they're being uh, very strict about the chairs. Right. So if if this was D23's effort to scare people off from the overnight line at work, because uh, we delayed it by about an hour or so. But we're heading out now. Wish us luck, guys. Got my lanyard. Got my badge. Thumbnail shot. Or. What do you think? Or. Oh, here's a good one. Ben, get in the shot with me. Oh my gosh, hold on. Oh, I got a good pose, hang on. How about like a mind blown pose? Here we go. Other side, other side. We made it through the back check, yep. and we're rapidly approaching. It is 4, 13 a.m. Definitely ready. Is that right? <laughs> you want to walk over and have our picture taken while we can? Really quick. I mean, there it is. Okay, Ben, let me get a good shot of you. We've made it in. Haven't made it to the line yet. It's a little bit of a jaunt. <laughs> oh, you have that. Yep, right? and that's the uh, print for this year, right there. We've made it in. I don't think it's as cold in here as last time. It's because we're prepared for it to be cold. <laughs> yep, we're wearing our hoodies. Okay, we're heading down here somewhere. All. Yep, gold member check-in for. All D23 legends. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, I, I think it's way down there. Oh, there's a, 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 oh, they're leaving now. Ryan and Lastic are in there. Yeah, Ryan and Lastic are in this line. They're moving to the show floor <laughs> or to the next corral for the show floor. Oh, I, where are they? They're by that pole over there. They're gone. They're working their way across the floor. Tell them to wave. I don't think they'll be able to wave. I don't even know if I'm getting them on camera. <laughs> so what hour are we on now? I don't know. <laughs> It is 8.02. So we've been here one. Four hours. Four hours. It's gone by pretty quick. I imagine they'll just start loading us up here shortly. Looks like a, they're inching people together up ahead, so yeah, better we'll turn off the camera. <laughs> Where's Ben? I lost her. Uh, been a while since I was in front of you. I figure I'll stick to the cars this time. Vulnerable. I love you, please have me. And for more than a decade, Robert's portrayal of Iron Man has thrilled theater goers, helping to transform the MCU into one of the most successful franchises of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tony Stark himself, the one and only Robert Downey Jr. Ben Sawyer has brought us into the heart of the most important events of our time. I love how he dealt with challenges. John Favreau has taken audiences on unforgettable adventures. Whether deep in the jungle or up to the farthest reaches of the galaxy, great storytelling is the common thread of his work.
Hi, it's Robin, and I have been waiting to say this. Good morning, America. of an animated hero. James Earl Jones. He's received an honorary Academy Award, a Grammy, and multiple Emmy and Tony Awards, all in recognition of his more than 200 film and television roles. If you've enjoyed a magical day at a Disney resort, Enchanting stay at a Disney hotel or set sail on a Disney cruise. Multi award winning producer, director, and choreographer Kenny Ortega. I put a spell. And now you're mine. Bette Midler. For decades, she's enchanted us. So we are now exiting day one of D23. We've spent most of the day in the in the yes. hall. We were sitting in the hall lines waiting to go in. We had we saw two panels today. We saw the um legend Legends. ceremony in the morning and then we just got out of the Disney Plus panel this afternoon. We got awesome seats. We did. We got in like at the last possible minute. Yeah, there are not that many people let in after us. And we were able to sit in the media section which had great seats. And we were able to see all of the stuff that they announced, which I'm sure that you have already heard about. I'm sure it's all over Twitter right so now. So we don't need to go into too much, but we are so excited about what's coming out. And we had oh, such look, a look, good day. We got a free hat. We did. We got a we got a free hat. And, and it also has a, the date. Uh, I have it in my hand. And it has the date of launch on the back. And we got a Avengers Endgame button. This is We Love You 3000. I'll add that to my uh, yes, we're my both lanyard. Yes, we add them to our lanyard. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Everybody's probably wondering what this treasure truck is. Oh, it's a Star Wars pin set for $25 oh. of some sort. And they have like I don't know. And it looks like over here they're painting this mural. I see Black Panther and Woody. Oh. We'll have to uh, check back on our, on our way out, you know, mm. every night. Food trucks and stuff, but uh, we were in such a rush to go from one panel to the other that um, we did not uh, really even have lunch. So I, I had a ham sandwich. I had a I had a protein bar and trail mix. Yeah, I had an eight dollar <laughs> ham sandwich. <laughs> All right. So I'd say the first day was a success. I do too. I, I can't wait. We're gonna go back to our room and um, catch up with Elastic and Ryan. Yep, we want to hear what they've been up to today. They were we, shopping. We didn't see them all day today, so we can't wait to hear about their day. And we'll be back at it tomorrow. Yep, we got to maneuver through this crowd and uh, resist the temptations of the food trucks. Yes. Okay, Ben, are you ready for this? This is day two. I know we didn't do much of a recap of day one. No. I'm sure there's probably like a minute and a half of footage. Probably. But man, that was a long day. It was. And then we had dinner with Lastic and Ryan. We caught up. They did their own thing mostly shopping. We mm -hmm. did our thing. We managed to hit both the big panels in the big hall. We did. No reservations. Somehow. We did it. Give we me did high it. Five. But coming out of that convention center, it's like, I feel overwhelmed, but I also feel like I haven't seen anything. So today. Well, we slept in for, we were exhausted. Well, yes. As soon as my head hit the pillow, it went off until we were out. Ben's alarm went off at 2.30 in the morning. The original plan was to go see the studios panel, mm -hmm. but we snoozed a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and the gold member queue is, is already filled. The reservations are all taken like weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So it's like we can wait and keep our fingers crossed like Disney Plus yesterday that we can get into standby. But I think this morning we're going to do what we did back in uh, 2017. Yes. Use this day to explore the floor. Mm -hmm. um, we have reservations to see the musical Journey of Aladdin with Lassick and Ryan later tonight. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna be their plus ones. We are. <laughs> Not sure what we're gonna do this morning. There's a Simpsons panel in the arena. We There's may a check Haunted that out. Mansion one later yep. today. So we're not sure. We're just gonna go with the flow today, mm -hmm. see what happens, and you can come along with us. Let's go for day. I was like, have you shown what we have gotten for gifts? Oh no. Well, did we show with the Disney Plus hat? I don't know. I think we did. I can't remember. I don't remember, but so, we got this hat. We have we got two hats. We're gonna give one to Ryan with the date that it's gonna launch. I think we showed the hat. I think we did, so I'm sorry if that's a double, but Elastic Ryan and Lastic got us presents. are spoiling us. So, Ryan and Lastic picked me up this Silly Symphony, the Skeleton Dance coffee mug. How cool is that? And look, the handle in there are bones. And it comes with a pen. Yes, it comes with a limited edition of 500 the Skeleton Dance pins. I'm so excited, I am not putting it on my lanyard because I don't want to lose it at the expo. So this would be one that I would need a locking pin back for because I don't want to lose it. Yeah. So that was my gift. Both these are total surprises by the way. Yeah, we didn't know they were doing this. And they got us the D23 exclusive Mickey Mouse set of three shufflers limited of 300. They're black and white Donald, Aren't Mickey, and Minnie. so Mini. cute? These are not coming out of the box. These are going to go on our mm -hmm. special shelf. Mm-hmm. We have a black and white theme going on here. We do. It, it, well, black and white is kind of the theme <laughs> overall. So I am super excited about these. And I can't wait. These are going to go right on our special Disney shelf. And this one I'm going to be having coffee out of every day that it's clean. So excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. We are in the Simpsons panel. Look how close we are. Literally the Jesus third crazy. row. Look, you can see I have not zoomed in, by the way. Totally just that's how far we are. All right, we had amazing seats in the arena for the Simpsons presentation. Yes. We're gonna go try to get into the Haunted Mansion one next, but we're gonna explore the vendor floor first. Ben is looking at all the pins. Look at all these pins. You're gonna go cross-eyed looking for pins. <laughs> There's so many. I want so many oogie boogie from some. Can you uh, tap my up there? Look at all the oogie boogies. This is like a vintage one oh, yeah. from Mickey's 60th birthday. Wow. There's a couple of them. Oh yeah, only five dollars. That's not. Hey, what are what are gremlins doing on there? <laughs> All sorts of artwork over here. So much to look at. So little time. Participant. Our first participant, reading as the role of the mysterious medium, she wasn't quite Madame Leota yet, uh, reading as the medium uh, is a member of our Disney technology group. And <laughs> Alright, now we, we have some wonderful photos of Kelsey and her grandpa here. Uh, how old were you here, Kelsey? Uh, I was about four in the, t the one on the right and the one up top. and. Somewhere in my 20s on the other one. <laughs> you guys ever get past Town Square in any of your visits or all the photos? Yeah, it was great. Everything right there. You got the window, you went home. And then, of course, we have Sally. Sally, thank you for joining us today. Oh, of course. I just love getting out of the house. Fantastic. <laughs> and, of course, we have uh, Uncle Deadly at the end of the stage. Uncle Deadly, welcome. Hello. Welcome to Virginia. Uh, when's the last time you were at the Haunted Mansion? Oh, well, I uh, haunt the Haunted Mansion every Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> I take the weekends off. Fantastic. Uh, so we have a, a whole script to get through. So without further ado, uh, Sally, would you please lead the way? Of course. <clears throat> the patrons enter the foyer of the Haunted Mansion to the dismal tolling of a church bell. 
a ghostly voice is heard from a talking marble bust in a niche high in the corner of the room. The opening statement would have no pertinent relation to the show, so those who might miss the first part would not be slighted. When the dismal knell of a requiem bell calls the spirits forth from the tomb, uh, and there's a dog howl. May I hear some dog howls, please? <laughs> Wonderful. And the mournful sound of a baying hound chills your soul with an aura of gloom. Up uh, in some ghost wailing. Let me hear your ghost wailing. Yes, we'll work on that. <laughs> then the spirits ride on a ghostly wind, wailing their song of doom. The doors of the first elevator open, and the voice of the ghost host, loud enough for all to hear, comes from the far wall of the elevator. Welcome, foolish mortals. Welcome to the haunted mansion. I am your host, your invisible ghost host. Our tour will begin here in the ghostly gallery, so kindly step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Hey, Ben was so hungry that we ate at the first place we saw. Should I get into it? We had, for the two of us, we had two grilled cheese sandwiches, two packages of chips, and two bottles of water. We, did, we didn't look at the price. Would you like to know how much that cost? $30. <laughs> Do you know how many grilled cheese sandwiches I could have made for thirty dollars? Oh wow! Well. Give me a picture. I can be a. You're gonna be a Maleficent. I already took your picture in front of the cars. Let's snap one in front of here. So over here, we're gonna try to sign up for Disney Plus. I'm Albert Lawrence. I'm gonna be hanging out with you. Okay. Hey, hanging out with you Jessica. all weekend long. To move up, so if you see that there is some space in between you and your neighbor, just come on, get closer to an opportunity. So Ben got her founder circle pin. For what turns out to be with our we have some costumes from the Mandalorian over here. Before we bring him out, I'm gonna tell you a second about Forky has some questions. So on Disney Plus, we have some short films that are coming out on the platform that are exclusively for D for Disney Plus. Subscribers. We started with 40 as a question and we're gonna have a bunch of you know where to go. You I have no idea. There's so much going on. Go this way and go this way. Stormtroopers over there. Stormtrooper armor. And they're over here they're talking about 40. Oh there are more costumes over here from that uh, Christmas movie. Oh yeah. So Ben. Ben got in line for this. Do you even know what Uptown Disney is? Nope. So it's like these booths of all this merchandise, I guess. And here we are at the Toy Story 4 section of Uptown, and you can see all of the Toy Story 4 toys. And what is this? Marvel Legos. They have autographs of some sort. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> well, let's go this way. Check out how much the mural has been done today. Holy smokes. Yeah, when we were leaving yesterday, they were just Black Panther and Woody. Yeah. Now they're almost at Elsa. R2-D2. So the day isn't over yet, but we walked over to the hotel to throw a couple bags down. Drink oh some coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. Every, we've been to every D23 except for the mm -hmm. first one, and every year gets bigger and crazier. Mm -hmm. And I think we may be hitting the point 
where it's getting like oh my gosh it's like Im almost impossible to navigate in there unless you plant yourself like we did yesterday and mm -hmm. for most of the morning today plant yourself and just watch panels if you don't want to do shopping if you don't want autographs or anything like that mm -hmm. you just want to uh watch panels mm -hmm. that's probably the way to do d23 yes mm -hmm. yesterday we we got into both the big panels this morning we saw the Simpsons, we got an amazing, amazing, amazing seat. Yes. It, it, I couldn't believe how close. We were three rows from the stage. I know. You could read the name placards I know. in front of the people. We didn't have to look at the uh, giant mm -hmm. monitor. Though I kept doing it out of habit. I know. And I was like, I don't need to look there. <laughs> and they had Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons. Yes. They had uh, Nancy Cartwright, the voice of uh, Bart, and about mm -hmm. 27 other characters. Right. And they were like right there on stage. It was, a, it was, it, it was, a, it was, it was an okay panel. It was all right. It, it was pretty mellow. It was. But it was just, it was just yeah. amazing seeing these guys in person so close. You can tell they're new to Disney because it wasn't they weren't like really a, sure it what... wasn't a Disney panel. Yeah, it was like a Q&A, was, like a Comic-Con panel. Yeah, like a Comic-Con panel, which mm -hmm. is fine. It's fine. We're not complaining and about was, that. You could tell there was also a lot of hesitation. It was like, yeah. what can we say? What can we say? What can't we say? What can, yeah, like it's because it's so new. Yeah. You know, like uh, what, what what the legal department, like right. like that Kermit clip yesterday. Right. What, what will the legal department uh, <laughs> allow us to say? But and, they did a good job. Yep. And and then uh, we, uh, we circled back. And mm -hmm. we got in line for the Haunted Mansion. We love the Haunted Mansion. A love lot it. of people, hundreds of people love. Thousands of yeah, people. <laughs> we're in line for this. Everybody loves the Haunted Mansion. But oh my goodness, this was the most boringest panel. We, we, we both nodded no, no, off. No offense. <laughs> yeah, we were both snoozing. No we offense were, to the people who are presenting. But um, the guy behind us was snoring. Like, yeah, le he like was. Legit, <laughs> legit snoring. <laughs> if they hadn't brought out... Uncle Deadly from the Muppets to, 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 to read the script as the original ghost host. It would have been a lost hour. He stole the show. It's like, oh my gosh, if he if it he salvaged the panel single handedly. I, did you get any footage of I that? I did, I did get a little bit. Okay, good. I liked his little asides and Yes. And the funny thing is if you weren't you know, if you were paying attention, like even when he wasn't like talking, he was still like reading yeah. his script. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like like the Muppet was yeah, reading. Yeah, yeah, it the was so yeah. You could see funny. his finger. <laughs> yeah, he did a good job. You know, I mean, the Muppeteers do amazing anyway. But I love so, it. So, Uncle Daddy, Deadly, thank you for <laughs> showing up. Thank the, you to the Muppet to the uh, Haunted Mansion panel. We very much appreciate it. So we are just taking a little break. Um, yes. Then we're gonna go see the musical journey of Aladdin. That should be amazing. Mm-hmm. And we're going to meet up with Lastic and Ryan. They got into the studio panel, which sounded like it was amazing. It ran overtime. Yeah. After I, after they got out, I immediately after they got out, I got a text from Ryan going, OMG, that panel. So I'm going to assume it was amazing. I know. I, know. I, wish, <laughs> I wish we could have got in, but we needed our sleep. That yeah. was a price we had to pay for doing it all day mm -hmm. in the basement yesterday. Right. But yeah, I'm kind of disappointed we haven't been able to see as much of the show floor as we want mm -hmm. just because it's not it's so hard to walk yeah. around <laughs> it's so hard the we looked at a little bit of the emporium which is where like vendors come to sell mm -hmm. their stuff yeah, pins and funko we looked and at stuff a, like, little, a little like, tiny bit scratched the surface of that and we walked around a little bit of the disney floor but you i mean the disney floor the problem with the Disney floor, like any convention really, like you, there's a line to look at everything, you know, like when you're walking around, you have to keep moving. You can't stop because it's like a, you know, hazard. So you're always having to walk and look at these things, but you can't actually go in without waiting in a line. And it's like sometimes it's not clear and where you, the line starts. But. And you don't know what you're going in to see. Like one, well, like we got into a line. Yeah, not that, knowing what it was. Yeah, that Uptown Disney thing. And it's it like, was like a bunch of like photo ops with like toys. Toy, toy display. Like, I guess. It must have been a consumer product thing. Like Must have been. Like look at the stuff you can find at Target. <laughs> did you mention that we did? You did. You spotted one of our favorite YouTubers. Adam, Adam, the, Adam the Woo. Woo. He wasn't vlogging. He was kind of nope. just taking it all in. Yeah, he took today off from but, vlogging. But we did get his button. We did. So I don't Ben, know will, ben will put a picture of that right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. We got buttons. 
gifts from him. It was great. So we, we saw him last time too, if anybody watched that vlog. <laughs> <laughs> gonna try our luck at the treasure truck. <laughs> Oh, oh. No. Good try. Yeah, your turn. Three. Stand in line again. Oh my god. Oh, I have to go get three. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, so man. close. <laughs> what a bummer. It, like, had a, it was a fake out. Yeah, it was. The toy hunters up there showing off some rare Disney related items. He was like what some of us do on YouTube, but like on actual TV. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> the parade is approaching. Is this the first time we've seen the parade? In person, yes. Oh, I've seen it once. Maybe I wasn't with you guys when I saw my first parade. Maybe it was last month. I don't know. amazing seats going on right now. Can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Are you excited, Ben? I'm beyond excited. I'm like, ah, can't wait.
So, welcome to day number three. What time is it here? 4.30. 4.30 a.m., day number three. I know we kind of cut off abruptly last night. We did. The Aladdin thing was amazing. amazing. Definitely recharged our D23 batteries. It's presentations like that that just keep us coming back mm -hmm. yes. every two years. Absolutely, was like, that was the best thing ever. And we were with these guys. Who seem to enjoy it. <laughs> they, they, I think they liked it all right. So we are getting in line for the Little Mermaid <laughs> celebration <laughs> at 10. We made it into the gold member line to see the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. First in, first in line, well, first in our row. Look at that. The first line is right there. So we're, the so we're like at the front of the second little corral thing. Right. We're soon to load up through those doors back there. Hopefully we have a really good seat. And I'll try to like record like a little snippet before I tell everyone to put their cameras away. <laughs> we'll try to very quietly record a little tiny bit. Yeah, be really sneaky. Look how close we are to the stage. It's crazy. I'm probably gonna put my camera away now, but uh, we'll report back soon. Hey, Ben, I've seen this movie before. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. It's The Lion King, right? <laughs> <laughs> So we are decompressing a little bit. Gonna head back in just a minute. But we gotta show off some prints. Oh, that's the Little Mermaid one again. But I don't think we showed it on camera. This is the, this is like concept art from the Little Mermaid. Notice that Ariel was originally going to be blonde. Mm -hmm. So there's the one that we got on the way out of the Little Mermaid panel. Here's the one I meant to open. How awesome is this one, guys? Let's take a close up look. That's awesome. It looks like the artwork has been finished. Look how amazing that is. Oh my gosh, check that out. How That's amazing. Cool. Appropriately right in front of the Star Wars sign. I had to get a close up look at some of these. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know, it's sad. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, get ready because the D23 Expo Spring Fire presented by you all will be making its way down Mickey Avenue with special celebration, including a salute to the 40th anniversary of Happy Mickey Mouse Disco. Armor. The fun begins in just a few minutes. Okay, before we head back to the hall again, we, we had to take a close-up look at the Onward van from the upcoming Pixar movie. Check it out. I don't know if I'm allowed to cross the carpet, so I'm just looking at it from afar. That is so cool. Did I miss him? <laughs> I just missed him. <laughs> just missed Carl. He was so cool. <laughs> so, the next one we're going to go, I am super excited for. Are you super excited for this one? Yes, I am. It's a celebration of the Disney character voices who long time viewers know are like rock stars to Ben and me. And if you see, I, I know there's going to be some surprises, but just the lineup that they have is pretty phenomenal. Yes. So I'm sure I'm I'm I, I'm sure excited, and I'm I, I don't know what to expect. He's speechless in the anticipation. <laughs> I know. And afterwards, you're not going to get a summary until later because he will be speechless of <laughs> of actually watching it. He has like all the voice of all the core characters, like Mickey and Donald and Goofy are going to be there. Princesses. Let's I know. Do be, it. Still, be still your beating heart. Let's do it. 
Jimmy, you got the shorts on. It's looking good. <laughs> Hey, it's alright. Yeah. Oh, look at that little cat he call. Goofy. Everything. He goofy. So he's goofy. <laughs> okay, well, are we ready to do this? Alright. Here we go. So really, my job in the studio as director, this is what I get to do. All I really do is, these guys are so phenomenal, I just say, take one. Go. <laughs> hey, fellas, we're at the D23 Expo. Gorge, the Mason folks are going to want to take pictures with us and get our autographs. <laughs> Well, uh, where do you think we should set up, Mickey? Huh, um, uh, how about over here? Uh, this looks like a good spot. Out of my way, you yardsticks. That primo table is mine. <laughs> yeah, Pete, we spotted that table first. Winders keepers, Petey. Yeah, well, you losers are gonna be weepers. On account of because my fans deserve to see me in the best light and at the biggest table. After all, I need lots of space for my piles of pictures and foam fingers and signature bobbleheads and whatnot. Oh, well, uh, I guess we can set up over in this corner, pals. Okie dokie, I got the table. And I've got our markers and our pictures. Well, uh, the crowd should be here any minute. Oh, hey, what's the matter, boys? Not popular enough? Or is everybody just here to see me? <laughs> well, a sound alike from the very first animated feature ever. So here we go. Ready? Let's do it. What wouldst thou know? What is it that you seek? Ask not about the future. Of that, I cannot speak. Oh, fine. Well, then, say something about the man cub. Where is that delicious man cub? Over the seven jeweled hills, beyond the seventh fall, in the jungle of the fragrant flowers dwells the man cub, smallest of them all. No, oh, you can't be serious. Fragrant flowers always irritate my sinuses. Sinuses? <laughs> Hello there. Allow me to introduce myself, <laughs> Professor Ludwig von Drake himself here to tell you all about the latest scientific breakthrough for that miserable case of the fooies you are suffering with the schnoody on the snaky sinuses, with the sniffles easy reaction to common pollinating flower allergy symptoms you get him over there. <laughs> well, it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> you get that? Oh, thanks to Dr. Ludwig's new and improved special snake sinus desensitizing super spray patent pending. It'll blast out those impacted sinuses like a great big fire hose. Money back guaranteed. Order yours today from me. Hey, 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 now. Maybe I need some of the devil my grandma Mo. You know she got a sneeze and agilies like ain't nobody business. And when she let out one that big ah you know her big glowing bug gonna light up the bayou for sure. <laughs> I mean, you cookie little bug, you. When in the world did you get here already? Well, you know me, I'm just passing through on my way to meet my bell, Evangeline. The sweetest firefly in all creation. Firefly? Nothing but flying gnats, if you ask me. Give me a pickle jar and I'll use them for a hurricane lamp. Oh, whoa, 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 you talk about capturing my girl? That's it. Put him up. I'm gonna make dewberry pie out you. Pie? Oh, oh my goodness, me. That must mean it's time for tea. Clean cup, clean cup, move down, move down, move down. Well, I couldn't move down. But I rather like floating up here. Of course, I can always disappear as well. Disappear? Oh, <laughs> don't let's be silly now. How can we celebrate your own birthday if you're only going to disappear, you know? <laughs> oh, my gosh, good.
morning has come. Another D23 has come and gone. We're getting packed up to go back to the airport. Oh, another awesome year. Hi. We will do a recap when we get our thoughts together when we get back home. Yes. But that character voice panel last night was like the perfect way to end the expo. We are we know the order in which we enjoyed the panels and we will share that with you yep. when, we, when, when we get home and yep. our brains are Yeah, we need a rested. process. Yeah. It's like <laughs> overload and we're kind of exhausted. It's like, all right, let's get home. It's gonna be a whole day affair. Leaving at eleven thirty California time, getting back eleven thirty main time. Mm -hmm. So it's let's do this. Of, it, it doesn't feel quite it sounds long, but it doesn't feel quite as long because there's a time change. So when we get home it's midnight, but it's really like nine, you know, so it's not quite as long. If we can swing it next time, I'd like like a day after the expo to like do Disneyland, mm. if we could make it work. But... Yeah, a day after would be perfect. So wouldn't that be nice? It like, would be nice. But not happening this time. No, we want to get home and see Tegan. But, okay, bye Anaheim. Probably won't see you again until 2021. And just like that, we're home again. Happy to report that the flight back, no problems at all. Everything mm -hmm. went smoothly. The ride up in the plane went fine, no delays. Everything back is okay. That very rarely happens. We don't even fly that often. But <laughs> compared to the nightmare of last year, everything a-okay. We're back in the car. Just gonna make our way home. It's a little after midnight now. <sighs> I'm kind of bummed it's over with. Me too, but I can't wait to see Tegan. Yep, excited to see Tegan. Mm -hmm. And you know, it'll be 2021 D23 before we know it. Every time we go to D23, we're <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it feels like we were just here. So I know yeah. that the next one we will be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's here. So. All right, so let's go home, get a mm -hmm. little rest, and then we get to see Tegan tomorrow. Yeah. So we have been back from another D23 convention. It's been about a week now. Been able to refresh ourselves, digest everything, Hello. and do a quick, quick-ish recap because I have, honestly, have no idea what I've already said, what we've already said during the vlog itself. Finn has been hard at work editing it, in addition to recording new toy videos, new vlogs. It, it's been busy, and she's packing up eBay stuff right now. In case you're wondering what Ben is up to. Hi. Packaging some stuff up. We surprisingly sold a lot of stuff while we were gone, even though we had our store set for vacation mode. Anyway, it was a great D23. How would you think I would rate in all the D23s out of the five we've gone to? Um, it was fun. We always have fun. Yeah, we yeah, always feel it it's worth good. the money. You know, we know what we're getting into. We know the lines. We know the craziness. We know the hiccups. We know... Not everything's going to run smoothly, but in the end, you see some spectacular stuff that makes you forget all of the craziness and lines and chaos. Mm -hmm. I think I think we said the Aladdin was the highlight. Mm -hmm. The character voice was like the perfect way to cap off a D23. After that, you know, I thought it was closed, but we still we could have gone on back on the floor for like another half hour. But after we saw the character voices, it was like... I think this is the perfect way just to end the D23. We just went back up to our room. Ben is telling me the only thing we haven't really... <laughs> touched upon in the vlog itself is what we did on Sunday. We kicked off the day with the Little Mermaid panel, which was, it was great. Aladdin set the bar so high mm -hmm. that a Little Mermaid had a little hard, a hard time. time yeah. I kind of wish Aladdin was like the last thing we saw on Sunday, but I'm not complaining. No. Little Mermaid, a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. Jody Benson there. We got amazing seats. We were at, I was actually sitting behind Jody Benson's husband. Yes. That's how close we were. Yep. Yeah, we were super, <laughs> super close. And then, let's see, after that, I don't remember. It's all like a blur because we were pretty much up for three days straight, guys. Three after, days with like little naps in between. After The Little Mermaid, we then went to the archives. Yeah, I remember we had to walk because I wanted my print, my mm -hmm. gold member Mickey Mouse print. I think we showed that in our hall. We did. We did. Yeah, we really had to trudge across mm -hmm. the convention hall for that. Yeah, then we went to like a little presentation that was put on by the people who run the Animation Research Archives, which mm -hmm. was really informative. Ben kind of fell asleep. Well, okay, he just got done saying that we were up for three days. Long. Yeah, it, it was a little dry, but it was, it was right up my alley. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> snore or anything. And they had a quiz at the end, and I still answered Yeah, it. she still aced the multiple choice so, quiz. I was kind of paying attention. And then after that, 
I think we went around the floor again, got mm -hmm. some food, and then we did the character voice celebration, which was amazing. You had Mickey and the gang at all the princesses, Miguel from Coco. Yeah, um, we didn't have any footage of the princesses mm -hmm. or Miguel, so we just had the character voices yeah. of Mickey. Yeah, we were kind of sitting off to the side, so yeah. we were pretty much recording it off of a monitor with heads in the way. Mm -hmm. If you look it up, uh, maybe Ben can link it. I'm sure somebody has, uh, or you can search it yourself. It'll do it yourself. Uh, <laughs> Hunting. YouTubing. Do some I, hunting. I'm I'm 100% sure someone has uploaded all of this to YouTube. Yeah. So I guess that's going to wrap things up. Mm -hmm. And next time we're going to plan a D23 with Tegan. Our first yeah. with Tegan. Tegan should be going next time. So we hope you enjoyed the footage. Leave a comment if you did. Go back and go get a blast from the past. Go check us out at the other D23s. Right. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. That's all for today. Oh, man.